People are back at work and working more hours now that the pandemic is over. They're also making more stuff. You might think this means things are going well, but they're not. Even though people are working hard, they're not getting as much done as they did before. This means productivity is down. Productivity is how much a worker makes or does in a set amount of time. It's about being more efficient. Productivity in developed countries like the United States, Canada, Germany, Japan, and France has been slow for many years, which means slower economic growth and stagnant wages. What's going on? How can people work harder and make more stuff but not be efficient? A big problem is the rush to use new tech tools, including AI. These tools should make us more efficient, but we often forget that any tool is only as smart as the person using it. Problems arise when companies and individuals don't know how to implement technology. Consider this ironic example. My friend studies the impact of technology on workers and receives frequent requests for information about the challenges faced by a digital workforce from news agencies. He recently relied on ChatGPT to help craft a statement on the state of work, but his new friend, ChatGPT, gave him bad information and the statement misled many companies and damaged his reputation. Another example is a student who used ChatGPT to write a purpose statement on integrity for their application to a university business program. Unfortunately, the student didn't proofread the statement because ChatGPT acknowledged that it knew very little about integrity since it was not human. The student was not admitted into the program. Reflecting on a past era, my father, a U.S. Postal Service mail carrier, faced a similar productivity hiccup when new mail trucks replaced the old Jeeps. These new trucks, although larger and more accommodating, significantly lengthened delivery times because workers had to leave their vehicles to retrieve packages. It wasn't until management prioritized human needs over technology that the new tool increased labor productivity. These changes affect productivity and economic growth in some positive ways, but also lead to fewer middle-class jobs and greater income inequality. One smart business leader told me that too many companies focus on technology, customer experience, and money before considering their own people. This hurts workers and productivity. But there is good news. Some companies have found that they can increase productivity by putting people first. My research shows that companies that focus on their workers do better work and offer better customer service. Companies need to understand that their workers have important roles to play. And this may mean we need to rethink our ideas about utilizing technology. Some companies like DoorDash and Upwork put people first. For example, DoorDash offers money and training benefits to gig workers while Upwork provides training, certificates, and coaching for its online partners. Many companies have a people-first approach, but there's still a lot of work to do. Many workers feel disconnected from their work, and more companies need to think about their people before implementing technology to address problems. This means companies should give workers more control, training, and opportunities to figure out the best ways to work with the technology intended to improve their lives and make them more efficient. This will help companies avoid many of the problems that lead to lower productivity.